In this video, we will learn how to memorize the multiplication table, or the times table for short. This is what a times table looks like. To help you memorize, don't use this version of the times table. This makes things confusing because you have to align the rows and columns correctly, which is quite a fuss and makes the memorization troublesome. Instead, use this version of the times table that I'm going to use throughout the rest of this video. We will learn about tricks to make memorizing easy. The first trick is that any number times 0 will equal to 0. Next, any number times 1 is just the number itself. So 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 4 is 4, and so on. Another tip is to know that multiplying numbers is commutative. This is a fancy word for saying 2 times 4 and 4 times 2 are the same thing. Both will give 8. So in multiplication, swapping the numbers will give you the same answer. So what this means is that once you know 2 times 5, you automatically would know 5 times 2. Because 2 times 5 and 5 times 2 are the same thing. Likewise, once you know 3 times 4, you will automatically know 4 times 3. Let's take a look at the times table for 2. Any counting number multiplied by 2 will give us these answers, which are called the multiples of 2. Likewise, any counting number multiplied by 3 will give us the multiples of 3. As you can guess, these are the multiples of 4, multiples of 5, and so on. So let's learn a few tricks of the times table. Looking at 2, there's a way to check yourself. You'll notice that multiples of 2 always end with 2, 4, 6, 8, 0, and this sequence repeats even if you extend past 2 times 10. This is something unique about multiples of 2. Similarly, multiples of 5 always end with either 5 or 0. Multiples of 10 is quite easy. Any number times 10 has an answer of that same number and you stick a 0 behind it. So all these numbers here are copied over and we stick a zero behind them. Multiples of nine has some interesting finger trick. First, let's show what all of our fingers in our hands. We start from the very left over here. These fingers show times one, times two, times three, times four, times five, times six, times seven, times eight, times nine, and times 10. When we read each line, we close the correct finger only. So 9 times 1 means we close the times 1 finger only. Our hands show 9 fingers, which is the correct answer. Next we have 9 times 2. So we close the times 2 finger. Your closed finger makes this big gap. On this side, it shows one finger only. On the other side, it shows eight fingers. When you put one and eight together, you get 18. Ta-da! We got nine times two correct. Now let's check the rest. Nine, three, 27. Nine, four, 36, 9, 5, 45, 9, 6, 54, 9, 7, 63, 9, 8, 
90. Now let's talk about practicing. When you memorize, read the times table like this. 2, 1, 2. 2, 2, 4. 2, 3, 6. 2, 4, 8. 2, 5, 10. 2, 6, 12. 2, 7, 14. 2, 8, 16. 2, 9, 18. 2, 10, 20. What I'm trying to say is that when you read the times table, you don't have to say times and equal to. It gets a bit mouthful. Just focus on these numbers and its answer. A tip of memorizing is to read the table aloud. When you read it out loud, you can actually feel a rhythm to it, which makes it stick to your brain better. I'll show you again how to read the multiples of 3. Here we go. 3, 1, 3. 3, 2, 6. 3, 3, 9. 3, 4, 12. 3, 5, 15. 3, 6, 18. 3, 7, 21. 3, 8, 24. 3, 9, 27. 3, 10, 30. Can you feel the rhythm? You have to keep reading the times table aloud like this for other multiples as well. You may need to read the times table a few more times to keep it tight in your brain. Then you have to test yourself. So cover the answers with a ruler, and now try to answer each line yourself. When you're done, uncover the answer and check if you're correct. If you get something wrong, you have to read out that line until you remember it. Let's say I got this wrong. I will focus on it and just keep repeating. 3, 4, 12. 3, 4, 12. 3, 4, 12. Then test yourself again. You have to keep doing this until you get it right. Hopefully, this makes your memorization easier. Ultimately, you have to put in the effort to recite and actively recall all of the facts until you don't need to practice anymore. In the next video, we will learn about column working and multiplication, which means you have to be done memorizing by then. Until the next video, see you then.